Shalom, shalom, shalom. It's Bani Amyan from Rock of Yahweh Shai, man. Coming to you with some more preset, man. Right? Because, yo, it's a beautiful day, man. And we're not about to deal with it in the house. Make sure we come out and enjoy the beautiful day what the Lord provide for us, the children of Israel, man. Right? It's at the end of the day, man. We're there upon the ground, man. And we're there to serve the Heavenly Father, man, in truth and sincerity. We don't make nothing stop him, man. Right? Beautiful day like this, man. We have to come out in the open, man. And enjoy the time, man. Enjoy the beautiful time. Because these times, in you know, this place, man, it gets so cool. You can't even dare to come out to a place like this to sit down and do all that video, man. Right? So when the Heavenly Father make it proof perfect like now, we have to enjoy it, man. And keep on reverencing, man. In truth and sincerity, man. Right? You see? You have to get creative, make a nice little background and carry out the father work in truth and sincerity, man. Right? Because we're there upon the ground, man. And we're there upon the ground, we have to keep on push the heavenly father word, man. Right? And store up our brothers and sisters' mind, man. To make them know so the heavenly father love them, man. And he never leave them, man. But yo, this video we may have to touch upon, man. It said, the terror of our Lord and the rising of the fool. Right? Because our Lord is a terrible power, man. Right? And when we not obeying the terrible power that we serve, man, he might go rise up some fool to make put us in a subjection, man. Right? So without further ado, I'm going to glorify the Heavenly Father. I'm going to call you all the Hawa, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rekha Kodash. Brakata Yahweh, Brakata Yahweh Shai. Brakata Yahweh, Brakata Yahweh Shai. I am Manuela. Yeah, man, the Father live and reign among the children of Israel, man. And he's in the midst of us, man. So if we keep his charge man, charge, man, and keep on doing what he ordained us to do, he will pardon us, right? But if we do not come back to the Heavenly Father, we are going to keep on getting heartache and pain and misery, right? And we know we're sick and tired of this thing, man. So we are bringing out this scripture, man. So the unlearned hear what are going and looking at themselves and start to dig the Bible and start to dig it down so we can get more understanding, man, right? And the first precept I'm going to bring out, I'm going to bring out Jeremiah. This is the book of Jeremiah chapter 7. And I start at 23 and it reads, Jeremiah chapter 7 verse 23. But this thing command I them, saying, Obey my voice and I will be your Yahweh, and you shall be my people and walk, yea, in all the ways that I have command you that it may be well unto you. So the Lord command us, so if obey in vice, walk in all of the way that him teach us so we can do well, be well. 24 said, But they hearken not, nor incline their ears, but walk in the counsel and in the imagination of their evil heart, and went backward and not forward. So everything what the Heavenly Father gave us to do, we do not do it, man. We walk backward. We walk contrary to it, man. And yo, this is our ruin, man. We set up ourselves, man. Right? So at the end of the day, the Heavenly Father said, Obey, and we disobey. So we do it. We set ourselves up for a fall. Right? And verse 25 said, Since the day that your father come forth out of the land of Egypt unto this day, I have even sent unto you all my servant, the prophet, daily, rising up early and sending them. So we rise up early, the Heavenly Father sent us out to bring forth his word unto the children of Israel. Some of them despise us, some of them walk and look at us and scan us. But you see, this is the work of the Heavenly Father, right? So when he might come down with him judgment, we have no excuse. Read. 26 say, Yet they hearken not unto me, nor incline their ears, but harden their neck. They did worse than their fathers. Yes, we have done worse than our fathers, man. Because what? At the end of the day, man, yo, when our father was in the land of um, Egypt, they knew they was Israelite, man, right? When our fathers was in the land of Assyria, they was them know them was Israelite in the Syrian captivity. When they was in the Persian and the Mede captivity, they know they was Israelite, right? So all these things, our father know what I go on. Even though them done wrongs, 
but we have done worse than our father. Thus says the bookman, because what? We do not want to ask him and come back to the heavenly father, just as our the scripture has written for us to what? return. Because the Lord sent us, the man of the Lord out here for bring forth the word for people them can return. Now this is Jeremiah chapter 13, and I start at verse 10, and it reads, this evil people which refuse to hear my words, which walk in the imagination of their heart. So we walk in the imagination of our own mind. We don't think. I know, say, yo, the Heavenly Father give us strict commandment where we should obey and keep his charge. So we do what? We walk in our own mind, own heart and do what we please. Oh, I'm going to do what I want, man. Yo, I'm not feeling like that. You can't say that because, yo, the Heavenly Father say what he said. And we have to obey in vice because everything was written is written for our learning. So you go to school, you can't tell the teacher, say, I'm not going to do that work today because what? What on the blackboard, man, I want to do that work. We obey and we do it, right? But why we can't obey and do our Heavenly Father charge what he told us to do, right? So we set it ourselves for a fall if we do not obey our master, man, right? And I, and I read, and walk after other gods. So we start to walk after other gods to serve them. So yo, we start to walk after woman, right? Because this is a queendom, man. Them put woman on a pedestal like them a god boy, right? Them dress them up and make them bring all kind, bring them all kind of way and practice for them. So we are run down the woman them inside of the whole door. Go tap into the spiritual vault where we have to tap in. We not tap into it. What we are do? We are run back a harlot, man. We are run back a some people when on a power, man. Right? So at the end of the day, man, this is our downfall, man, for the foolish what we keep on doing. Right? The stupid idea what we keep on thinking now we head. Right? We have to left off a foolery, man, and come back to righteousness. Right? And worship them. We not worship woman, man. Right? We not worship wood and stone. Right? These things is not of our fathers, right? Shall even be as the girdle which is good Slakia. To serve them and to worship them shall even be as this girdle which is good for nothing. So we turn good for nothing, man. Right? Because at the end of the day, man, this is what the Heavenly Father has said to us. Verse 11, sir. As for as the girdle cleave to the line of a man. You have on your clothes, you have on your belt, man. It cleave to your line, man. It keep up your trousers for you, man. Whatever you have, where you want to make stay stable, right? So have I caused to cleave unto me. So the Lord, he want us to cleave unto him. The whole house of Israel and the whole house of Judah, northern kingdom, southern kingdom says the Lord, Yahweh Shimei Shai, that they might be unto me for a people and for a name and for a praise and for a glory, but they would not hear. Look how the Lord set me up to be a people of glory, of praise, but we still do refuse to listen to the word of the Heavenly Father, man. This is how we don't fall, children of Israel. Verse 12 says, Therefore thou shalt seek Speak unto them this word. Thus says the Lord, Yehovah Shai of Israel. Every bottle shall be filled with wine, and they shall say unto thee, Do we certainly know that every bottle shall be filled with wine? Every bottle shall be filled with wine. That simply mean, man, the world are we supposed to fill with righteousness, righteous judgment. We can't watch each other go off. We have to stand up and make sure that each man do the right thing. Verse 13 says, Then shall thou say unto them, Thus says the Lord Yahweh Shimei Shai, Behold, I will fill all the inhabitants of this land, even the king that sit upon David's throne, and the priest, and the prophet, and all the inhabitants of Jerusalem with darkness. So yo, Slakia, with junkness. So yo, we not do nothing to please the Heavenly Father. The Heavenly Father will come down upon us with wrath, man. Right? Verse 14. And I will dash them one against another, even the Father and the Son together. 
says the Lord Yahweh Shibra Shai, I will not pity, nor spear, nor have mercy, but destroy them. And this are we don't fall, man. We fool her, man. But we start do, man. So the Lord said, I'm going to say, Father again, son, man. Right? The Lord said, not spear, none of man. Because what? We hard headed with stupid, satish children. No one listen to what the Heavenly Father said. So all these things come down upon us, man. The wrath of the Father come down upon us, man. Right? Verse 15 says, Hear ye, and give ear. Be not proud, for the Lord had spoken. So we eat and hear all these things. You can't be proud, because this is not my words. This are the Heavenly Father's word, and I him spoke them. Right? And when we hear of them, we have to make sure say, we do them. Right? This is the book of Jeremiah chapter 13 and I jump to 23 and it read Can the Ethiopian change its skin? The Ethiopian can't change its skin man Right? The Ethiopian they have a dark complexion just look like the children of Israel Right? And what the Lord say? Or the leopard is spot Them can't change them spot So the Lord give us strict commandment We have to keep them and do them We can't walk away from them We can't change the way we're supposed to operate all these things we have done, that's why we life hard, right? Then may you also do good and are accustomed to do evil. He that know to do good, or you going to start to do. He also do good that are accustomed to evil. Yo, we know for the good man. We are not accustomed to evil man. The other nation, they are accustomed to evil man. And them raise you up and them we are falling now, right? Verse 24 says, Therefore will I scatter them as the stubble that pass away by the wind of the wilderness, man. We come like dust now, man. The Lord scatter us, man. Four corner of the earth, man. Just because of what? Foolery. We don't want to listen and take on to what the Heavenly Father they say. We can't change what been given unto us. We have to keep them and do them. A leopard never changes his spot. A Ethiopian never changes his skin. Right? Verse 24 says, Verse 25 says, This is thy lot, the portion of thy measure for, from me, says the Lord, because thou had forgotten me and trusted in falsehood. The Lord said, This is our lot, what we choose, right? Because we forget him and trust in falsehood, right? Verse 26 Therefore will I discover thy skirt upon thy face. The Lord said, I'm going to make a shame, right? that thy shame may appear. I have seen thy adulteries and, and thy nighting, nighting, the lewdness, the, the naughtiness of women, the lewdness, right? Of thy whoredom and thy abomination and thine abomination on the hill. The hill represents all of these places, man. All of these power structure, man. Right? In the field, Everywhere, woe unto thee, O Jerusalem! Will thou be not made clean? When shall it once be? We have to clean up our act now and come back to Yahweh Shimei Shai. If not, yo, we are gonna keep on stay down. We have to rise up out of this dust where the Lord put we now, because the Lord put we here for us to be think ourselves and change our ways, right? And if we not be think ourselves and change our ways, we are gonna keep on the foolery. And the Heavenly Father now nah, have no pardon power, man. Because, yo, if we choose foolery, the Heavenly Father choose a delusion, right? This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 5, verse 29. And it reads, Shall I not visit for these things, says the Lord Yahweh Shimei Shai? Shall, shall not my soul be avenged on such a nation as this? The Lord of soul avenge upon us right now. And that's why we are under pain, we are under struggle, right? Never ended struggle. Verse 30. A wonderful and horrible thing is committed in the land. A wonderful thing. Horrible. The Lord said wonderful and horrible. That simply means, yo, it's terrible, right? Verse 31. Verse 31 read. The prophet prophesied falsely. The prophet prophesied fast. The people in the Christian church keep bringing our people down to the graveyard, boneyard, destruction, right? He said the prophet prophesied fastly, and the priests 
be ruled by their mean. So every one of them be ruled by their mean. They not do nothing for please the Heavenly Father. They might do something for do it. Enhance themselves. Enrich themselves. Them and them family. We're not being an Israelite no more. Them turn individual likes. Right? And my people love to have it so. And what will you do in the end thereof? Now the end is here. What are you going to do, man? We are not going to change the ways and come to righteousness. We are not going to keep on walking at buffoonery. Children of Israel, yo, we are not going to wake up and come out on a dead state of mind and come back to Yahweh Shimia Shai. Because, yo, he love us, man. And through him love us, he set up servant to come out on the highways and the byways and the edge to bring on back to a pure memory, man. He wants to store up on the mind. That's why we out there bring forth his word unto you. Right? This is the book of Jeremiah chapter 9 verse 5. And it reads, and will and will deceive everyone his neighbor. That's what the pastor them do. Deceive us. Them not tell us the truth. Right? And will not speak the truth. They have taught their tongue to speak lie and weary themselves to commit iniquity. And that are going right across the board. Because they've been trained by the wicked. The wicked grow them up and tell them how to operate. So now people them becomes a wicked and the wicked man. Them train them tongue to speak lie man. Them not train them tongue to speak nothing truth. Right? So at the end of the day man, the heavenly father has set it plain upon the table. I show we the children of Israel, we have to hearken in unto him and change our ways. And come out of foolery. Right? And we get Jeremiah chapter 8 and I start at 3 and it reads. And death shall be chosen rather than life. For people them choose death rather than life. Right? Because the Lord give us last statute and commandment and have faith in him and I'm son. And what we do? We choose what? Death rather than life, man. Because we start to work and do our own intervention. We choose in death rather than life. We have to choose life, man. And come back to the way of the Heavenly Father in truth and sincerity. So the Father can have joy with us again. He not no joy with us. Because what? We turn our back. And to turn our back, he might go turn him back from we. I will overturn the back from the power that make heaven and earth, man. Who are we, man? We are nothing but worm down here, man. Right? We are nothing but dust and ash, man. So why are we so proud? We have to turn our face and confront back the heavenly Father and beg for mercy, man. Beg for pardon, man. Right? So he can have mercy on us because he is merciful. He loves us. That's why he chose us. We are Israelite, man. Right? We read this again. Jeremiah chapter 8 verse 3. And death shall be chosen rather than life by all the residue of them that remain of this evil family which remain in all the place whether I, whether I have driven them, says the Lord, Yehovah Shimei Shai of hosts. The heavenly father drove us, man. East, west, north and south, man. Because of what? Our ideas our pick up. Our stupid intervention we take up. And I go on like say, yo, we know it more than the Heavenly Father. We don't know nothing. And him orchestrate everything. We is we not a movie and he must do he must the writer. He must the producer. He must everything, man. Right? Let me get Isaiah 28. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 28. And I start at 15. Can it read? Because you have said we have made a covenant with death. Our people make a covenant with death because they love the ugly red boy more than the heavenly father. And the ugly red boy is death. So they make a covenant with death, man. Who not going to make it? We to make a covenant with death. Life, falsehood. We can't prosper. Isaiah 28 verse 15 Because you have said we have made a covenant with death and with hell are we our agreement you know with agreement with hell death and hell man right you know can't pass man you know wall up destruction line man you know hug up it man you know decide to let it go the Lord will call all his children back so now for the what Lego destruction line Lego the hell line Lego the dead line Right? And it reads, 
and with hell are we at agreement. When the overflowing scourge shall pass through, it shall not come unto us. So I think, when the over scourge, when, when the Lord wrath come, it will pass through, it will come to you. Because what? When you make covenant with death and hell, it will come hug you, man. It will come embrace you, man. Right? It shall not come unto us, us for we have made lie our refuge. When you make lie on a refuge, say, the tricks are destruction. Now I'm going to pass on the lie, I'm going to make lie on the refuge. And under falsehood have we hid ourselves, on the hid on the under falsehood because what? Them gassing up and telling us that God loves everybody. Jesus, all you have to do is say, have faith in Jesus and you will make it. You will see the pearly gate. Listen, man, all I want to fool around and talking about, man, the Heavenly Father. I go come and I go bring down him wrath. The Lord shall come like a whirlwind, man, like a fire. You understand? Our people will get devoured. All of you will mix up with lie and falsehood. When you know no escape, right? So the only way you can escape is return back to Yahweh Shemir Shai and repent and ask him mercy, man, right? And start to do it. Keep the commandment of Yahweh Shemir Shai and above all, man, have faith in Yahweh Shemir Shai, man. Right? And he might have pardon for women. Because yo, none of us know who is safe and who is not. Right? But without faith, yo, you can't serve the Father, man. And with faith, you have to have works, man. So you have to put in the works of the Father, man. You have to congregate to the brothers and sisters, man. And do the righteous thing, man. Stop living a falsehood, man. Stop believing a lie, man. Right? Because that's how people and believe in a more anything, man. Them believe in a lie because what? Them gas them up in a lie for the past 15 years them go to school or 13 years them go to school them left from school them go to college and a be like them a teach. You go in, you get PDH, all PDHD, all high learning and then we go look at job them tell you say you overqualified. This place is mad this man. Right? We have to leave from falsehood man and come back to Yabai Shimia Shai and tap into the resource because we have resource children of Israel. We have spiritual resource that we need to tap into. When we tap into the spiritual resource, yo, all of the carnal stuff them I got added on to us. But we need to tap into the spiritual resource that we have. We can't go on like say, we just want to run down carnal things. It's not going to work. Right? We get the book of Psalms. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 78. I'm going to start at. 17 and it read and they sin yet more against him by provoke, provoking the most high in the wilderness all people in the wilderness them provoke the heavenly father because yo up to today dear man when the lord take us out of egypt and bring us into the wilderness man we wasn't a people where we, we never organized, man. We was disorganized up until this very day, man. Right? And the Lord said what? And they sin yet more against him by provoking the Mosai in the wilderness. And they tempt Yahweh in their heart by asking meat for, for their, their loss. Right? So all kind of things, man. We see all of the happenings that the Heavenly Father have done for us. And we still go against what he has done for us. We still are going like so we want to add the shoulder and walk off and do our please. All of these things, man, is our downfall, man. We set ourselves up for the fall. Playing up on the table, right? We get Leviticus. This is the book of Leviticus, chapter 26, verse 16. And it reads, I also will do this unto you. I will even appoint over you terror, consumption, and a burning ague which shall consume the eyes and cause sorrow of heart, and you shall sow your seed in vain, for your enemy shall eat it up. So the Lord said, I'm going to cause consumption unto us. A burning ague, right? A burning ague that some serious information going in your eyes. 
your eyes, you come like you want to open your eyes, you feel like stone in your eyes, right? The Lord said, Mother, cause us to do what? We are going we are, we are to get our so, we are going to sow our seed in vain. That means you are going to have the children, we, the children of our seed, we sow our seed in vain, right? Because what? For your enemy shall eat it up. We have a children, them man. And who are teach your children? The enemy are teach your children. I give them all kind of derogative terms and names, right? Call them landmass, right? Them don't even know that them are the children of Israel, right? Because all of them things, the Lord prophesied and see it to happen unto us. We have a children, them. We send the children, them, to school. And the enemy, I teach them and I dumb them down. I teach them where them please, right? Verse 17 says, And I will set my face against you, and you shall be slain before your enemy. And they that hate you shall reign over you, and you shall flee when none pursue. Said the Lord said, that's a verse 17. They that hate you shall reign over you. So there's a people, 17 nations hate the children of Israel. Because what? They haven't been the chosen. We have been the chosen. So the Lord said, they that hate you shall reign over you. So at the end of the day, man, the people that hate us are reign over us until today, day, man. Right? So if the people that hate us are teach us, what are they going to teach us, man? They are going to teach us nothing right. They are going to teach us be wrong. They are going to teach us something where they can be above and beyond over you. And make sure so they are throw the whip over your back, man constantly so the Lord said they that hate you shall reign I read this again man he said and I will set my face against you and you shall be slain before your enemy and every day them kill us man and they do it get away with it we shall slay before our enemy is the Lord doing the Lord orchestrate all these things to happen to us can the scripture tell us this is the Lord words Right? They that hate you shall reign over you. So the Lord has said, All these nations hate us and they are reign over us. It's not hard to understood. It's plain upon the table. Right? And it read Over you and you shall flee when none pursue. You see them and you start run because you're afraid. Nobody now pursue you. But this is the spirit. Where the Heavenly Father put upon these people. And the Heavenly Father put a, a fearful spirit in the children of Israel, the disobedient one, man. And that's why when them two stand up in a might, attack for talk the Heavenly Father word, them scared and they feel like we are gonna bring trouble to them. But you see, the Lord not give us the spirit of fear, but he put fear upon you. Know, because what? When we refuse to come to the Heavenly Father charge. So that's why we're fearful, man. Right? So now if you're looking at yourself. I know, say, yo, if you stand up and do the heavenly father work, man, you know, I have nothing to fear of, man. Right? Verse 18 says, And if you will not yet for all this arcing, the Lord said, all these things where him say, him are going to make happen to us. We are going to sow, we see it in vain. We enemy will eat us, are going to rule over us. The Lord said, all these things I want to see happen. I want to steal the ark in. Where am I going to do? Unto me. Then will, then I will punish you seven times more for your sin. So imagine that. The Lord said, yo, when you see all these things that happen to you, I want to steal the ark in unto me. I come down to you harder with the hammer. Me not ease up. That's what the Father said. That's what happened to us. That's why we life hard. Right? Verse 19 says, And I will break the pride of your power, and I will make your heaven as high and your earth as brass. So the heavenly father said, Yo, the earth are with the pan, he might go make it like high and brass, and the heaven or above, he might go make it like brass. So it's like we in a hard place. We can't get away. Children of Israel, we have to come back home to Yabai Shimi and Shai in truth and in sincerity, man. We don't have no other hope. We don't have no chance. We chance less. The Lord want we and the Lord love we. And the Lord has said we have to come back. If we don't come back, 
the heaven, the height, the heavens are going to be iron and the ground are going to be iron. You can't dig through iron for black nothing. Think about it. Right? Verse 20 says, And your strength shall be spent in vain. So all of them work, you want to work, and have four job, five job, three job, two job. It's not going to work. The Lord says, Your strength shall be in vain. Vain means nothing. Right? For your land shall not heal, your increase, neither shall the tree of the land heal their fruit. Yo, anything over try it now got it. Nothing I got work out for it. Everything I got us go beyond. Yo, everything I got us go stop. Right? Let me jump to verse 22. Just, this is the book of Leviticus chapter 26, verse 22. I will also send wild beasts among you, which shall rob you of your children and destroy your cattle yo the wild beast and the lord said send amongst us we shall rob us of our children back in the days them used to feed our children to alligator man right them used to put the children over in the alligator pond and use the children to catch the alligator and when the alligator come and near your pitney then them near your children then them catch the alligator so you see the lord she said i will also send Wild beasts among you which shall rob you of your children. It happened. Right? So everything what we are reading in the scripture cleared out from the earth. Cleared out in our life. So the scripture, the book is real. Without a shadow of a doubt. Right? And it read. And destroy your cattle and make you few in numbers and your Highways shall be desolate. Verse 23. Verse 23 said, And if you will not be reformed, so the Lord said, so we have to change ourselves, change our mind. Reform means change. By me, by these things, but will walk and cherry unto me. The Lord said, If we not reform and change and walk and cherry unto him, Verse 24, sir. Then will I also walk and cherry unto you and will punish you yet seven times for your sin. Seven times for your sin, man. Yo, you know much time the Lord said, I'm going to punish us seven times, seven for we sin. You am going to keep on seven, seven for we sin. Seven is a meek word to come, number for completion, man. And this is our last captivity. So right now, this is the seven captivity, children of Israel. And now we have to take ourselves together and step out of this place and make us start to do the work for our Father, man. Because He loves us. In same, I'm going to punish us seven times, seven for all our wrongs that we are doing. If we keep on living on and keep on doing the wrongs, yo, dog, I'm going suffer, man. Right? But the Heavenly Father shows without a shadow of a doubt. Say, yo, you know, have hope, you know. So, you know, come back to me. I'm going to jump to 33. 33 says, Leviticus chapter 26, verse 33. And I will scatter you among the heathen. That's what the Lord do unto us right now. That's why them have in the school. A teacher. I will scatter you among the heathen. And will draw out a sword off of you. And your land shall be desolate. And your cattle waste. So the Lord said, I'm going to draw out a sword off of us, man. Because, yo, we know who is the sword of the Lord, man. Right? The sword of the Lord, we don't know who is the sword. But before we get the sword, let me get to Amos. Amos chapter 9. Amos chapter 9 verse 4. And it reads, And true, they go into captivity before their enemies, there shall, then shall, wait, slack here. This is the book of Amos chapter 9 verse 4. And true, they go into captivity before their enemy. Then will I command the sword, and it shall slay them. And I will set my eyes upon them for evil and not for good. So yo. The enemy has slave us right now, slay us right now with the sword, man. And the Lord said, He must set him eyes upon us for evil and not good. Because what? 
we don't listen to him. And the father now pardon us because what? We don't want to hark in. So yo, we love, it look like we love battering, man. It look like we love butter, butchering. If we don't see who people are dead, we don't feel good. It look like that the mindset that they found the children of Israel right now. Right? Because the Lord turned the brain upside down, man. Right? But you see, we, we are going to march on with Heavenly Father words, man, in truth and sincerity. Right? <clears throat> Let me get Genesis. I'm going to show you who are the sword, man. Because the Lord said, I'm going to send the sword. Right? This is the book of Genesis, chapter 27. When I start at 38. And, e and Esau said unto his father, As thou but one blessing my father, bless me even me also, O my father. And Esau lift up his voice and wept in bawl and cry and beg for a blessing. And when father said, And Isaac his father answered and said unto him, Behold, thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth and of the dew of heaven from above and by thy sword shall thou live so Esau is the sword where the heavenly father sent against us he said by thy sword shall thou live and shall serve thy brother so he might get the argument from him father saying to serve him brother right and it read and it shall come to pass when thou shalt have dominion thou shalt break his yoke from off thy neck right because the heavenly Isaac, Isaac tell Esau saying to serve him brother man right at the end of the day man Esau no want to serve Jacob nah Esau want to bush at Jacob and that's why the heavenly father said in, ex in a exodus hear me exodus some in a Deuteronomy it actually say you shall not abhor a Edomite, right? Or well, that I say we not for eat the Edomite because I'm our brother. And we was in Egypt as stranger, right? The scripture said that. But the scripture make it known say after the Lord said that, what the Edom, 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 Edom do? Edom cast off all pity. When you read the book of um when you read the book of, just paraphrasing, when you read the book of um, Amos 1 and 11, it says, For three transgression and for four, you shall not turn away the punishment. Because what? Edom cast off all of the pity and the anger, perpetual. Right? So, at the end of the day, man, these people, they never love us. The Lord said, nah, Leviticus, he that eat you shall reign over you. So when brothers and sisters read the scripture and them say, Sir, yes, the heavenly father show pardon at certain times and down. The man them art hardened. So the father have to say, you know what? We can't make a butcher of the children them. We have to keep it moving with them. Right? So we have to understand the scripture and know say, yo, all of these people, man, them eat us perpetually, man. It everlasted, man. It now stop. Right? Let me get Job. This is the book of Job. Job chapter 19, verse 29. It says, Be ye afraid of the sword. So the Lord has said, Be ye afraid of the sword. Be ye afraid of the wicked. Both people them hug up the wicked now and I walk with the wicked like, Okay, you're my best friend. I've got an Edomite friend. Listen, man. I read this again. Job chapter 19, verse 29. Be, he, be ye afraid. Be ye afraid of the sword. For wrath bring the punishment of the sword. So we wrath against our father and he bring the punishment of the sword. The plain upon the table. Right? Be he afraid of the sword, for wrath bring the punishment of the sword, that you may know there is a judgment. There is a judgment coming down on us, man, from Yahweh, Shimei, and Shai. Because what? We're not afraid of the sword. We're not 
expect the sword of the other nation for what we do wrong, the Heavenly Father are going to use them and sort we out. Because what? We haven't taught right the scripture. The Christian church do a number of wickedness over the children of Israel. Tell us that God loves everybody. Tell us that the scripture involves everybody and with us we have this big soft spirit that we work with and love everybody. And that's why you everybody cramp with, right? We freeze up. We are hand freeze now, right? Look at the sun come out from we and the sun shine from we. All priests, yeah, by a shimmy and shine, man. We don't freeze up again, man, right? We have the nerves, man, and we nerves are work, right? And we don't know in a coma no more. We don't paralyze, right? We stand up in the air with might now. Our brothers and sisters, we come turn up with me, right? And we could do the work of our father continually. That's it and that. Let me get Ezekiel. This is the book of Ezekiel. Ezekiel chapter 33 and I start at 4 and it reads Then whosoever hear the sound of the trumpet and take not warning if you don't hear this sound of the trumpet because the scripture of the trumpet we are bringing forth the word this is the sound and it's on the trumpet If the sword come and take him away his blood shall be upon his own head So yo, when the wicked come when Esau Edom roll up and grab on away and bring on the police car or Isa eat them roll up in the supermarket and shooting up or roll up anywhere in the theater anywhere in please and shooting up because they're not taking warning from the Abba Shimi and Shai so he must send the sword right verse 5 and it says his blood shall be upon his own head he hear, he heard the sound of the trumpet and took not warning. His blood shall be upon him, but he that take it warning shall deliver his soul. So we dare a man for try to tell our brothers and sisters it's time to change on the wheels and come back to Yahweh Shemir Shai in truth and sincerity. Because what? The Lord put his scripture here for us to keep on remind our brothers and sisters to walk in his way, man. Right? Now let me get Hebrews. This is the book of Hebrews, chapter 10, verse 31, and it reads, It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living Yahweh. It's a fearful thing to fall in the hands of Yahweh, Yahweh. Because when we fall into the hands of Yahweh, yo, the Heavenly Father, man, is a fearful, is a dreadful power. That's why I'm so we fear Him, right? We feel love the Heavenly Father with all our heart, our mind, our soul, man. We don't feel left out nothing, man. Everything we forgive unto him, right? That's why the Lord said, man, it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of Yahweh Shimi and Shai. Because we fall in his hands and we go away. Captivity of a captivity. And we still not learn. But some of us are learning, you know, but everybody not going to learn. But only hope, brothers and sisters, take on and come because, yo, we tired of beat down, man. And yo, me know some brothers and sisters, them, yo. Rulership is nice, man, and them people are ruled for far too long, man. We need to rule them, man, and we need to put them in the harder, man, right? We need to fix them, man, because they have fixed it for far too long. The well want to fix some of them, you know, man, right? And that's why I wait up on my father, you know, man. I be patient and wait upon him, man, because, yo, that day shall be a day, and them, them sorry day them born, man, right? Let me get Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy chapter 32 and I start at 39 and it read see now that I even I am he and there is none no God there is no power but Yahweh man right with me I kill and I make alive I wound and I heal neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. Nobody don't know we can live out, deliver out of the Heavenly Father hand, man. Right? So yo, we have to be obedient unto the Heavenly Father, man. In righteousness, man. Yo, if we want pardon, if we want the Heavenly Father 
to look out for us. We have to be obedient to Yahweh Shimei and Shai. Right? Let me jump to 21. And it reads, Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 21. They have moved me to jealousy. So we move Yahweh Shimei and Shai to jealousy. With that which is not Yahweh. <coughs> Shalakia. We have moved the Heavenly Father to jealousy, man. With that which is not power. No vanity. <coughs> We drive the Heavenly Father jealous with. Right? We start our own intervention. <clears throat> they have provoked me to anger. So we provoke the Heavenly Father to anger, man. We make the Heavenly Father get wrath with their vanity. And I will move them to jealousy with those which are not a people. So the Heavenly Father move us to jealousy with those that are not a people. Because when me and see what's going on right now, and the base man will rule over women. They're not a people. And how me I feel good now myself knowing that a people ruling over me which is not a people. Eh? I'm jealous, man. I'm mad. I'm furious. With mad. I tank up with madness, man. And that's how I do it. I come blow off madness, man. I come blow off the steam, man. And I do it. I humble myself and come back to Yabai Shimi and Shai to what I know, man. When I never know, I was fool to it. But when you know, when you know, you have to come and do the right thing. And this is the right thing, children of Israel. Conserve Yahweh Shimei and Shai. Right? <clears throat> With those which are not a people, I will provoke. <coughs> Slack you. I will provoke them to anger with a foolish nation, man. <coughs> the Lord provoke us to anger. With a foolish nation, man. How hard is this, man? How much more? <clears throat> How much more we want, man? How much more can we take? This is crazy, man. This is madness, man. Children of Israel, we have to wake up and come out of a dead state of mind. Verse 22 says, <clears throat> For a fire is kindled in my anger and shall burn unto the lowest hell and shall consume the earth with her increase and set on fire the foundation and the mountain i will heap mischief upon them the lord say yo he must go heap mischief up mischief upon us man the whole place is going to burn up man the whole be a madness is going to go on hell i break loose right now man right <clears throat> and it read <clears throat> I will send my arrow upon them. They shall be burned with hunger and devour with burning heat. And with bitter destruction, I will also send the teeth of peace upon them with the poison of serpent of the dust. So these are the wickedness that are upon us, man. The Lord now have no pardon for us, man. No pity, man. Right? Verse 25. The sword without. The sword without. And terror within. Shall destroy both the young man and the virgin. So the young man and the virgin. The virgin mean young woman. The suckling, the children. Also with the man of gray hair. Also, the man with grey hair, nothing now spear man. The heavenly Father now pardon, right? So all of these things are gonna happen unto us because what? Disobedient, are to happen unto us. It no far fetch. We don't see it. We don't see it happen. <clears throat> Verse twenty six. I said I will. I would scatter them in corner, into corner. I would make the inheritor, the remembrance of them to cease. From among men so you see the remembrance of us cease from among men because what we never know so we are the children of israel remembrance remember cease from amongst men but now the heavenly father have mercy upon us and he bring forth his word back in on the earth and i show us say yo when our children of israel with only the power life so right now no, take my charge and do my work and adapt me and the father until no breath no left in my body man Right? <clears throat> verse 28 says, Slack here, verse 27 says, 
where it where it's not were it not that I fear the wrath of the enemy lest the adversary should the Lord said no fear the wrath of our enemy man right lest their adversary should be have themselves strangely and lest they should say our hand is high and the Lord had not done all this so the adversary them them a big up them chest and go on like say them are the best and I make it look like a them do all what they are what have happened unto us them not do nothing man and the heavenly father are the one we do everything what happened unto us right them not have no strength in them and them not have no might and the man we do nothing when we keep the heavenly father charge them can't do with nothing but you see we grow up amongst them and get so fearful so we don't have no might now to stand up and look into them face and deal with them like a man when you soft like a girl like a little baby right when you afraid of them like puss right but yo at the end of the day man children of Israel when you stand up for the Lord man nobody can do nothing man if you're not ordained by the Lord man them can do nothing man so believe in your father man and walk with your father man in truth and sincerity man and yo the father God have mercy for you man right <clears throat> Read and, and it read. Our slack here. Verse 28 says, For they are a nation void of counsel. These people are a nation void of counsel, man. They are not understanding, man. All of them know if you do, man, is wickedness, man. Right? All of them know if you do, man, is stupid. stupid. The Lord said they are void of counsel, man. They don't know where I go on, man. Right? They must have themselves. Turn one big piece of foolery, mockery, one big idiot just a walk around the place, man. And you look upon them and rate them. We don't rate them, man. We look upon them, we see them on the bottom of our shoes, man. And we are going to wash your foot in a them, whatever the Lord say, man. Right? Now, let me finish our verse 28. Verse 28 says, For they are a nation void of counsel. Neither is there any understanding in them. No understanding in none of them. The Lord is the one that put understanding in man. And if the Lord said no understanding in none of them, none none of them, man. Right? So at the end of the day, man, let me get Job, man. This is the book of Job. <clears throat> Job chapter 30, and I start at 8, and it reads, They were children of fool. Yeah, children of base man, they are viler than the earth. These people are wicked people, man. Them don't know nothing good, man. And they won't come teach you. When them can't teach you. Verse 9. And now I am their song. Yeah, I am their bywords. Them see with them disrespect us, them call us all kind of name. Black man. Gullywag. Big lip. Jungle bunny. Uh, 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 Hispanic. Wet bag. All kind of wicked name, man. We are them song now. We are them by word. Right? Verse 10 says, <clears throat> They abhor me. They flee far from me. Them hate me. When them see with them, screw them face and walk far from me. Right? And spear not to spit in my face. And them not, if them could have come spit in our face, them spit in our face. Whatever time them please, man. But you know, the Heavenly Father with us children of Israel and right now we are rise up out of the dead state of mind that we in right now because yo the Father still love us and the Father still want us to change our ways and come back and to his ways man right without further ado man I hope you've been edified and these principles will bring out man because yo the terror of the Lord man the Heavenly Father is a power where he now pardon us if we're not doing the right thing man we are fair doing the right thing for the Heavenly Father, He may God have mercy upon us, man. Right? So we have to make sure say, we keep the Heavenly Father charged and we do Him work continually, man. Because what? The terror of our Lord, man, and the rising of the fool, man. So right now the fool rise up and I go on like say, my tap a tap. But Lord willing, brothers and sisters, the remnant, the Lord rise up and we keep on marching, man. Right? And I said, all of you Zach ones out there, man, to order for the teaching that you've been teaching for years 
Fanta for years, man. I salute you with a mighty shallow one, man. Right? And all of you mighty man out there on the highways and the byways and the edge, man. Keep on doing your thing for your boy, Shimmy and Shy, man. Because, yo, we see you out of this place, man. And all you sisters, man, keep reverence your husband in truth and sincerity, man. Right? Remember your full, full mother, man. Sarah, Rebecca, Martha, all these ladies, man. Yo, they're back in the earth right now. So, yo, just keep on doing the work on the father, man. Because, yo, the father loves you. Know? And the Father will keep on guiding us in righteousness, right? So we have to keep his charge for now and forevermore, man, right? And all of you brother out there on the highways and the byways and the edge, man, keep on doing the work, man, because, yo, we all we have, man. Let us march on in righteousness for now and forevermore, man. And we glorify the heavenly Father, the Hebrew show, the house Call you all your hour, for Hashem, you are shy, for Hashem, for Kakadash, Prakata your hour, Prakata you are shy. Rakataya Hawa, Rakataya Oshai, I'm Manuela, Shalawam man, until the next one. Shalawam Israel. <coughs>